This is exercise 10.3a, Inferred Constraints. I'm in the Inferred Constraint Practice Drawing in the Steps Lesson 10 folder. My running O snaps are on and they are set to endpoint, midpoint, and center. My polar tracking is on and it is set to 45 degrees. Additionally, my inferred constraints are on. We'll begin with the line command and start at point 1 comma 2. For purposes of this exercise I'll be drawing my lines using polar tracking and the direct distance option. We'll begin going 6 inches on the 0 degrees, 3 inches at 45 degrees, 2 inches to the left, 2 inches up, 2 inches to the right, an inch and a half down, 4 inches to the left, and 3 inches at 225 degrees. Did you notice that as I was drawing, AutoCAD was establishing constraints all along the way? If I move something, notice that everything else will adjust because it is attached. It is constrained. If I were to add a line, say I wanted to add a line from the endpoint here and I wanted to go parallel to one of these lines. I hover, I get my parallel mark, I move and I go Oh, let's go a little bit further, like so. And notice that AutoCAD has made my line parallel and constrained it as such. Let's fillet these top lines. Enter the fillet command. We'll give it a radius of 0.75. And I will fillet these lines, like so. I'll repeat it, fill it these lines. Again, with my inferred constraints on, AutoCAD has established new constraints. In this case, it has made the lines tangent to the arcs, to the fillets. The important thing to remember about inferred constraints is right along the, li the same lines as using running O snaps. If you use them, then your items, your, the objects you draw will be constrained. So if you don't want the objects that you draw to be constrained, by all means, make sure you turn inferred constraints off.